Uh, if you are just joining us, we did have successful liftoff at 9, 12 a.m. Pacific time from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. We landed our first stage for the fourth time, and we're just now coming out of our second and final coast phase. On screen right now is a view of the uh, second stage Merlin vacuum engine. Uh, but prior to that, we did see the stack of 50 Starlink satellites uh, positioned on the top of the second stage, and we are expecting those to deploy in the next couple of seconds. And there were those Starlink satellites that I was mentioning. Again, there are 50 of them uh, on top of the second stage for this mission. Earlier in the webcast, we mentioned that these operate at about 550 kilometers in altitude. It actually takes a couple of weeks for the Starlink satellites to use their onboard thrusters to get to their operational altitude. So once we see them deploy from the second stage, they'll kind of uh, distance themselves from the second stage and then, uh, again, use those thrusters over the next couple of days and weeks to get to where they need to get to. For those that are interested, Starlink deploy confirmed. And just as I was saying that, the Starlink payloads on screen, you can see them separating themselves from the second stage, and off they go. So with that successful deployment of our 50 Starlink satellites, that's going to bring our webcast to a close today. I want to thank the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers and all of our Starlink customers using our service at this time. If you are interested in signing up for Starlink, head on over to Starlink.com. But thank you again for joining us and hope you all have a great weekend.